Okay, so we're going to go ahead here and have a look at how we create parallel lines in Adobe Illustrator. Okay, so we're going to create a simple uh, shape here. So we'll just grab our pencil and draw out a simple shape. And we can come back in and modify. So just press escape there to deselect that. Come back in and modify our curve just so that we're 100% happy with it. Okay. So let's just push this up a little. Okay. So one thing we need to uh, do is actually make sure the, the shape is closed. So I'm just going to come in once I'm happy with the, the flow of these lines and just close off this curve. So I'll click here once. I'm just going to come down the bottom here and close that shape off. I'm going to have a single uh, line when I finish this off, but I just need to be able to align my paths outside that shape um, as I'm building this. So I'm going to align my stroke outside the path and then I'm going to come to my appearance panel and add a new stroke. So in my appearance panel down here at the bottom left I can add a new stroke and I'll give it a different color. Okay, And I'm just going to drop down the width of that stroke a little so that I can have one stroke um, sitting on top of another. And then I'm just going to drag this out because I need to keep jumping between that panel and my stroke panel. Okay, and now I'm going to align that stroke um, outside. Actually, let's just make it a little bit smaller. And then we'll come in and add a new stroke. Okay, we'll drop down the width of that and add in a new color. Change the alignment to outside that stroke. Add in a new one, and we'll just do a couple more of these. Okay. Align it to the outside, change the color, and then we have our parallel strokes. Okay, so at the moment, the parallel strokes are just one single uh, stroke on a line. I want to make those into their own individual shape so that I can manage them a bit more clearly. And there's two ways that you can uh, do this one is um, to grab a rectangle tool, okay, and I can drag the shape around it. It doesn't have to be a rectangle, it can be any shape. Okay, and then just select those two shapes and go to object and then clipping mask and make. Okay, and now with that rectangle on I can come in here and I can adjust which part of my, my parallel lines are visible. Okay, so that's one way to, to make the parallel lines. The other way, um, if I just take a couple of steps back to before I had my shape there, is to actually break this apart, um, which gives you different type of control over the lines um, and allows you to kind of work with them in uh, a different way. So I'm going to break this apart. So I'm going to go to Object, Path, Outline Stroke, and that outlines uh, my stroke. Okay, and then I'm going to go to Object, Path, Outline Stroke again, and it's going to outline all of my my strokes. So let's just make sure we've got all these selected and we'll outline all those strokes and it's grabbed them all now. You can see all those are outlined. And then I go to Object Expand which is going to make those all independent. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to break apart this line. So I'm going to grab a shape here okay, and another shape up here. Okay. Let's just join those together. So we've got two shapes here which I didn't give a, a fill but basically these two shapes and I'm just going to change the angle of this up here so it kind of matches the angle of this shape a bit better. I'm going to join these two together. So I'm going to go to my Pathfinder tool, okay, join those shapes together and make a copy of them because I'm going to keep reusing them. Okay. So now I'm going to select the shape behind, chop that out paste in this shape, select the next line behind, chop that out and I just have to move that back. So I just did command and the left square bracket or object, arrange and send backwards. Okay, then I'm going to paste it in again, select the green line, chop that out, send that backwards. Okay, and then paste it in again and chop that out and then send this to the back. So now I have those four shapes um, and they're whoops, 
grab the move tool rather than the direct selection tool and now we have uh, four perfectly parallel uh, shapes that we can then go ahead and work with and we can also because they're parallel uh, and individual shapes we can break them apart so if that suits the the project you're doing and um, then that could work quite well and um, it's quite nice being able to have the the different shapes to work with that's how to create parallel lines in Adobe Illustrator or one method to do it um, if you have any questions about Illustrator then uh, just send me a tweet at Ben Housel and I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial